Have you guys ever felt that uh, you don't want to do something? Have you felt that you don't... You just don't want to invest the energy into something in the moment because of how you're feeling. Uh, that's what I'm feeling now. Although I want to record this video for you guys so much, a part of me doesn't want to because it's just... I just feel drained in many ways. So you just got to bear with me and understand that my energy in itself it's here but at the same time it's elsewhere as well meaning like it's I don't know but I have to just allow what's happening on the inside to happen and I will be here and I want you to be here you know this whole video is about just self-love and just understanding what it means to be a nice guy and why self-love is something that you know maybe you have a little bit of or any nice guy out there he has a little bit of it and the main reason for this is just because he's focused on everyone else his whole life he doesn't know what self-love even means he can't connect to that that's something that is very foreign to him The journey of being a man who can feel self-love is about the journey of going within. And I would say any guy who wants to learn about seduction, who wants to learn about women, who wants to learn about what it means to be in this world and be very, very influential and be able to bring joy to the lives of others and bring happiness to those around him. This inner journey is acquired. It's not so much of just learning the things you need to do to get the little things that you want. And I would say the little things that you want is the woman, uh, the feeling she's going to give you, the, the complete an antidote to your pain, just like you want the antidote right now. You want to just get over it right now. This is, I would say, a small man's way because he believes that he can just change all the aspects of his life without doing much and it stems from his lack of being able to go within for real because when you really take the journey on the inside what happens is these small things start to lose its charge in a certain way and it becomes something else the way that I notice is because in my particular journey I used to think that, you know what, if I just had, you know, many women in my life that I was seeing at once, then everything would become better. If I just had a woman I was sleeping with every night, everything would become better. You know, if I would just know how to express something, then everything would be totally fine. Because my small self, which is your, my egoic self, really wanted that fix much like a, uh, a, a person who is addicted to nicotine continuously wants to hit that is the same thing for a guy who just wants to just get a woman to, to make himself feel better or he just wants to get sex every night to make himself feel better or he wants to just get over this little thing that he's dealing with to make him feel better they're all just hits but this is definitely not the journey of self-love because you're coming from this with the mindset of I just want to get over the things and get the things I want but not really have to do anything else and the not wanting to do anything else is the main issue that's the main issue with self-love because that stems from a knowing within yourself it doesn't stem from once things happen around me, then I'll have self-love. You know, once I just 
become more confident, then I'll have self-love. Once I just, you know, get some more women, then I'll have self-love. Once I learn how to, you know, manage a business, then, then and I, I have everything on track, then I'll have self-love. The issue with that is, then I'll have. Because you start to think to yourself, fuck, then I will have self-love. And the whole attitude with that is, you have to do something to get it. You have to consciously go do something out in the world for you to have something that's normal and natural to your being. Stripping away the insides of myself that I don't need. Looking at the parts of myself that I'm scared to look at. Allowing things to be expressed through me that I'm scared of expressing. This has been my journey to understanding what it means to just love me. One of the best people I feel who have insights into self-love is Osho. He's incredible with understanding. I feel more than anybody I've ever met, anybody out there that I've ever heard from, just understanding what it means to, as he say, be selfish. And what he mean by selfish is just simply focus on yourself and you will want to from that place as you start to go in, in your internal journey, you will want to share from that place. And that's, I think that's beautiful actually. It, it definitely did wonders for me. You have to understand that your internal journey is stripping away that I've, that I've had to do. The looking at that I had to do. The honestly just expressing something that I had to go through. Is the route that I also want you to take. Not the same exact pinpointed things that I had to go through. But being able to put your focus on yourself purely. Because why do you want to keep focusing on others? That's my question to you. If you're a guy, you feel like, oh, man, I'm a total nice guy, and I'm a guy who always just, you know, I do things for others, and I don't really give myself any credit. I'm always worrying about what people are going to think about me. My attention is always in the other person's court. That's my whole life. If you feel like you're somebody like that, and you're frustrated by it, and you're like, man, I just want to break out of that mode of just being this one way, just being a way where I have to completely just always fit everybody's mold. I have to fit everybody's mold. Everywhere I go, I'm constantly just in this prison. And when I go to around somebody else, then I'm in this prison. Then when I go somebody around somebody else, then I'm in their prison. But you know what? I just want to break free. If you feel like you're one of those guys and you want to break free, or you're a guy who's totally nice and you just want to stop yourself from being so nice and to really find your ground on the inside, to really find what it means to come to yourself, to love here and allow that love to express this way. Because for you, your mind, it probably goes like this. Love expresses this way and then I just want it to come back to me. I want it to express it this way and I want it to come back to me at the same way that I'm doing it. Because I'm doing it for a good deed and what's really behind it is that you're doing it with expectation for it coming back. So you'll never ever be able to give anything without expectation. You'll always be wanting to do something and immediately get something back from it. You'll never really be able to truly give and, and share from a whole place. It'll always be there's something missing and I have to get it back. And I have to get it. Because inside of yourself, you're, dealing, you're coming from a scarce place. And that scarce place that you're coming from is affecting all the women you're meeting and it's affecting everybody that's around you because you're somebody who always needs things to be a certain way because you believe everything is scarce. You're like, fuck, my friends are scarce. Fuck, okay, this amount that I'm giving, this is scarce. So, you know, um, uh, if I get it, I definitely need to get it back because I might run out of it. You're confused within your own self. 
it may be very difficult you for you to do this because your embedded behaviors and patterns and conditionings has made you the way that you are. And what I think is that any man who deals with these nice guy ways, he feels like he can't let go, his biggest thing will be putting his focus on himself. That's will be his, that will be his biggest thing in life. His biggest thing in life will stop will be to stop focusing on others and start focusing on himself. That will be the biggest shift that he'll make. And the moment he makes that shift, he'll start to notice everything that he's not noticing. Because to do that takes courage. It takes immense amount of balls for a man or anyone to just go, you know what? I'm not gonna focus out here on everything around me to give me the value for who I am. I'm only gonna focus here to get the value that I'm craving from others. The value that I'm craving from women, I'm gonna start to not look for that constantly in women. I'm gonna bring the focus back here. Because once you bring the focus back here, now you can start to really live out whatever it is that you want. You have to put your focus in the right place. It's not in the right place. For me, my focus had to go into a totally different place. For me to really feel on the inside that, you know what? I'm great the way that I am. Without having to do anything, I'm already great the way that I am. But I've been told that I have to do so much to become great. That's what's, that's what's crazy. Everybody has told us, people, especially guys who are nice, too nice. Everybody has told you that you must do all these things to be great. That you must do all these things to really be a person that's fucking fantastic. That you have to. Not knowing that we're already fantastic and great without the search. Without the search, we're already that which we are seeking. That's the build the incredible thing. So what does that mean to you? What does that mean to a guy who feels like he's too nice and he wants to let go? What does that mean for a guy who has always been someone who focused on everyone else? What does that mean for him or for you? What does that mean for you? It's to look in a different place. That's what it means. It's important now for you to start to look in a very different place because if you continue to look in the same place that you've been looking, you'll always get what you've gotten. And if you always get what you've gotten, you're not really on this journey at all, are you? So what I would say is, Start to put your focus on yourself. Like Ocho say, become a little bit selfish. Well, he doesn't say a little bit, I said that. He said, become selfish. And I really believe that. Become totally selfish in the sense of, not you don't care about others and you're just uh, worried about yourself and you're like, fuck people. No, but you have your whole life been everywhere else beside yourself. This is why when guys are on workshop, I'm in front of them, I'm like, all right, bro, uh, what do you love about yourself? I just ask him that out of the blue because he may be saying something. And I go, okay, stop for a moment. Tell me the truth. All right? Totally. It's just me and you. You can say whatever you want, man. Don't be modest. What do you really love about yourself? And as I'm sitting here and I'm looking at him, he may go, many of the times students go, oh, fuck, I never thought about that. And these, you know, the students that, you know, we have or I have are just total guys who have been too nice and they want to break out of that. That is our specialty and that's my specialty. He doesn't know. He goes, ah, oh, man, I, I never really thought about that. That's, 
And what he doesn't know is that that's because he's been focused on everybody else his whole life. He's been continuously focusing on people and how he should fit the mold of them. How he should fit the prison of their presence. Do you know that? You fit the prison of someone else's presence when you are trying to constantly be something for them to view you as. Focus in the right place. Be willing to look at yourself as the only source of being able to induce love, happiness, joy. Stop always looking for it in everything that you're doing and start looking for it here. I got to become a lawyer before I can feel self-love. I got to get women in my life before I can feel self-love. I got to be able to publicly do public speaking before I get somebody in my life. I got to be able to do these things before I can feel the way I want to feel. You're taking yourself totally away, totally away from what it means because even if you got those things, it will still remain the same for you. Sorry to tell you. Sorry to tell you. Everything remains the same until you change. You can go out there and go after anything you want. You can get great women in your life. Yep. Maybe you may get women into your life. Absolutely. But I know many men who have women in their life who are not happy. There's many men out there who have women in their life right now and are, that are not happy in their core. Because they believe that when I, got a, when I get a woman in my life, then I'll feel the self-love that I've been waiting to feel. Because the woman will let me know that I am lovable. That I am somebody that is interesting that I am somebody that is beautiful and amazing as a person once she lets me know that by her being in my life then I will feel better then I will feel whole when I go get this job and I really make it and I'll just make it to the top that will be the time where I know that fuck I'm, 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 I'm great I'm an amazing dude that's the time when I know that but I'm gonna tell you right now how many of you guys are in the job that right now that you love or doing something you love in life, but you're still unhappy? Just answer that question. That just lets you know where you need to focus. The focus on going out to get confirmation that I am somebody that is enough. I am somebody that is loving to himself or that deserves that to himself, it's the wrong route. But let's go the route that you need to go. Let's go a route that's a little bit different. What you guys can do is be totally just with yourself. As you're there and you're present to yourself, you notice that your desire to do, your desire to have, your desire to be something so that you can feel self-love, it leaves. One of the things that you need to know the distinction between is being with yourself and being by yourself. Because this distinction of being with yourself and being by yourself is the difference between you feeling love for yourself. Being with yourself is being totally present to right now and who you are. Because in that you notice that you don't need for anything. 
you don't desire in the way that you've always desired for something to make you feel whole. You just feel whole. But being by yourself is just secluding yourself from people. That's just wanting to be alone away from people for some reason. But one of the great things is you can be with yourself and by yourself together, but you can never just be by yourself and feel whole. You can be with yourself and by yourself and feel whole, but not by yourself and feel whole. Because when you're by yourself, just away from people, you may still desire to be around people. You may still desire to have somebody there next to you. You may still desire something. You have to know the difference. Because in knowing the difference, you know yourself differently. You could be in a group and be with yourself. You can be alone and be with yourself. But to be with yourself requires you to focus on yourself. Focus on your breath. Focus on being here, what's around you, meaning like the trees and the grass and the sun hitting you and the wind blowing right now. And feel what it means to be here. The more that you can do this, the more that you can do this around others and alone, the more you're gonna start to feel what it means to love yourself. Your current mode may be, Tony, when I'm by myself and I'm trying to be with myself, I don't like what I see. And I go, great, that's a great starting point. Because through what you don't like what you see is what you love what you see. It's loving what you see. Not liking what you see, it's just, I don't like the pain that's there. I don't like the fact that I act like this. That is a great starting point. That's why when you say, when a person says that, I go, man, that's great. Because through that, you'll understand that, of course you don't like that, because it's not you. Focus on yourself more to love yourself more. And if you want to know much, much more about this, buy my product that's coming out June 23rd. I say buy my product that's coming out June 23rd because this is a product that's gonna help you understand what it means to own who you are in your sexual desire. Own who you are is the part that I really want you to understand from that, from, from this video. Is that well, that's one thing I will be covering in that product. Right now, you're just not owning who you are, so you can't love yourself. You're not being present to this moment, which is one thing I talk about in my product. Or you can come do coaching with me and the TNL team, or with me individually, it's up to you. And I see you guys when I start running my seminar, so you can really be up close in person with me, so you can really feel my presence and what it means to be in front of somebody who loves himself and someone who can teach you how to come out of your nice guy ways. I just did a fucking hard sell, didn't I? <laughs> but it's great. It's great. I just did a hard sell. My cameraman's laughing. <laughs> I sold you guys really hard on that, didn't I? All right, well, I see you guys when I see you guys and love yourself by being with yourself. I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new, and it's also something new that I wanna give you. I've created a video series which is Approach to Bedroom. 
And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon an approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home and along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.